doing a room tour of my office. This is where I make all my videos. This is where I do everything. Where I spend most of my day. So beyond this door, come, 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 follow me. No, 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 no. We cannot have that. We cannot have that. Before I show you, I need to work on my cable management because in the past, everybody has always commented about how horrendous my cable management is. We're going to fix this before I show you my room. Double-sided tape. Oh no, it's not sticking. <laughs> oh no, it's just hairy tape now. I'm going to stick it right here so you do not see my cables. Nobody came to see you. Okay, I'm gonna tape these on the wall of my desk and hopefully that sticks. Excellent. I'm not gonna show you what's in my drawers. I said don't show them. Your scissors and an iPad. Okay, let's try this again. Where are the ladies? Come on! We're waiting for the fat one to arrive. Oh, the fat oh, one has arrived! So this is my room. I'm going to take you through every little piece of it. These are my ladies. They sit here and love each other while I record. So I really wanted this rug for my room. I got them this bed because it kind of matched the yellow on the rug. So I kind of just leave it there. But for aesthetic purposes... Oh, they stayed. Please accept my loving. I'm gonna put this right here. We keep the room at a cool 82 degrees at all times, even in the middle of summer, because I get cold. This is my little nook. These are my little friends. They're gonna have to scoot over. I sit in between them. So this is where I like to sit and watch Tiki Talkies. It is a very comfy chair. And then of course the ladies sit right next to me. And as you can see on the wall, I have invested in some very fine art. They're prints. These are by one of my favorite artists, David Shrigley. And he does like very silly art. I'm very picky when it comes to art. I feel like art should be silly. Like you should look at it and it should give you a smile. Like this. It was worthwhile doing this. And it's just like paint. That's how I feel after I make a video. And then we have the banana. The moment has arrived. The banana is ripe. Will you eat it or will you let it get browner? And then the tornado of nonsense. Do you have anything to say about my art? A good choice. <laughs> This is not a very nice chair. This is my snake plant. I've had it for a while now. I have two plants in my room. One of these plants is causing pests. Because I'll be at my desk and then they'll be buzzing around me. They are such weak, pathetic flies that I can literally just like flick them and they would like disintegrate. So one of these plants is causing it and I can't figure out who the culprit is. Probably that guy. That guy is causing a problem so I'm starving him right now. He will no longer be getting any water. So I have other prints that I want to hang up. I'm not sure how I want to do this wall. It's definitely not permanent. This one is a cactus. These are also by David Shrigley. This one says, I hate human beings. What a lovely fellow. Is this a badger? Yeah, it looks like Wumpy. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. We're burning precious sunlight. It's getting dark in here. Anyway, this is my bench. When I'm having a bad day, sometimes I would like to lay down here and look at the ceiling. Wow, my day has drastically improved. Okay, on to the more interesting wall. As you can see, I have many, many, many statues of some of my favorite anime characters. Some of them I can't show on this side of the wall. This is Neliel, I did a cosplay while I put her on. Her underwear broke off, so I can't really show you guys that. Here is my security camera. You know, just in case you wanna come in here, you're being recorded. Here's Ryuk. I don't know what he's doing here. This is another art piece that I have. This one's actually really cool. So this is an original cell from the anime Bleach, which is one of my favorite animes, and it is of Neliel. Her, Dondo Chaka, Baba Baba, and Peche. It is an original sketch from a frame in the anime, so that's pretty cool. Here's the 10 million play button. Nobody cares about the play button when I got all these bleach statues here. This is Harry Bell, and she kind of rotates. Not one of my favorites. My favorites, I love so many of these. This is Gein from Bleach. I love him, he's gorgeous. This statue was horrendous to put together. There's just so many parts. Like, all of these little parts actually, like, come out out and they're attached by like a little magnet. I don't know how to read directions. I literally cannot follow any sort of directions, whether it's like baking or assembling something together. So I kind of just like put them together and see what fits. See, everything comes out of this. And then this is Stark, also from Bleach. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with the Espada. She is gorgeous. We have Yorichi right here and her little black cat. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I think the cat's supposed to go right here. Rangiku, my gorgeous queen. And then Okura, Orihime, and Grimjow. Oh, I love the Grimjow. He's so gorgeous. I'm not gonna say who this is because this is kind of a spoiler for the new season of Bleach. If you know, you know. Nami from Jujutsu Kaisen. I haven't even watched the movie that came out. Fake fan. And then everybody's favorite, Enosuke. No, I lied. He's not everybody's favorite. Uzumi's my favorite in Demon Slayer. And also we have the little muscle 
Klaus right here next to him. He is gorgeous. And then Erin Jaeger with his little bird, his chains. I didn't know where the chains went, so I kind of just like put them wherever. And then which one doesn't belong out of all these? Kaiba <laughs> from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I had a big old crush on Kaiba growing up. Oh, and then this guy. This is one of my most prized statues. So this is actually a Digimon. His name is Beelzemon. He was in one of my favorite Digimon games growing up. He was one of my first crushes. He is very handsome. <laughs> Is he not? He's gorgeous. He's a Digimon. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> kind of looks like Reaper. I feel like Reaper was like based off of him. Yeah, well, this was horrendous to like put together because all of these had to like put together. And also he came with me from like three houses. So he's been through a lot. He's still like intact. And every time I recline my chair back a little bit, I kind of hit him. So I got to push him back a little bit. This is my light behind my video. All I just got to hit this button. Nothing fancy. And then turns off. Nice. Of course, we got the Wolfberry Red right here. My very own flavor, the most delicious of G Fuel flavors. Also got the whole mini fridge behind me. Fridge is running low. I keep my cans in my other fridge. Oh, hello there. I got some Eva units right here. My sister gave me this little nut. Isn't he sweet? I've spent $80 trying to get him out of a claw machine and I won this little lady at the fair. So this is where I sit and make my videos. As you can tell, I don't have a PC here because Digital Next took my PC because he was like, oh, you don't need this. I was like, wait, I actually do. He's like, well, you're not using it. So he took my PC, so I am in need of another PC. But right now I've been using this little Mac box. Don't look at my password. Okay, I have to close all of my windows so I don't show you anything that you're not supposed to see. No, stand back. No. <laughs> don't get any closer, I'm warning you. I'm going to open up my YouTube page, okay? Because that's all you guys need to see on here. There's my YouTube page. Okay, that's it. Before I had the Mac Pro, this was basically built into the screen, but then I upgraded to one of these and I love it. I am not an expert by any means, so I'm not gonna give you stats on anything. And then on this side, whenever I wanna play Overwatch, which hasn't been in a while, I just scooch on down. I got the Alienware monitor. I just got this because it was good looking. It's very aesthetic. It has like the white on the back of it and it matched the PS5. That's a good looking monitor, is it not? I don't know what you guys want from me. I feel I feel like every single one of my room tours are not gonna be like anything fancy. Bare minimum, okay? I don't need very much. If you want to see a fancy setup, go watch Digital Nexus. Also, this is my trash can. Oh, these are pretty cool. So a lot of people that come in here ask me about these. And instead of doing audio foam, if you haven't noticed, this is probably my only setup in a room that doesn't have audio foam behind me when I record. Because there's kind of an echo in here because it's like tile floors. So to deal with the echo, I put down a carpet. I put some furniture around. But also, I feel like these really help. This is moss. And it's alive. And it's basically like frame. It's like preserved moss. And it also acts is audio phone. So whenever I'm talking, it like bounces it off and like kind of helps with the echo. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool and I was gonna get more of these, but I never did. So I feel like this is enough and my videos don't echo too much where it's like noticeable, like, yeah, I can't watch it. But they feel really cool. They feel really nice. It's like sinking your hands into nature's hole. They're very soft, very plush. So lighting for my videos, I just use this light that I got off Amazon. It clips onto the desk. It's so easy, you just turn it on and well, bam sunlight. Oh no, it's coming off. It's never been rotated that much. And then I just turn it off when I'm done. I had one that was like Wi-Fi controlled and I had so many problems with it. And once it connected off the Wi-Fi, I tried resetting it like 50 times. It doesn't work anymore. And that one was expensive. It was like a $300 version of this. This is much cheaper. I feel like it works much more efficiently. I love manual things. I don't like Wi-Fi controlled things. Maybe I'm getting old, but like I love just like being able to turn something on with a switch and then just like adjust it with a knob. It's so much easier. Perhaps I will show you the bonus room. This is where I do pee pee. Everybody does pee pee. Now, if you don't have a bidet, get yourself a bidet. There's a butt cleaning button. If you don't have a clean butt, then you don't have nothing. I also shower in here. Also in my bathroom, I have this funny little guy. It's actually a vase or just a holder for matches. And I got pink matches to match my candle. And I stuck this little thing on the back so you can just light it like that. Behold, fire. What do you want? Are the UPS man? Do you have a package for me? Okay, come on in. Welcome to my house. Hello friends, it's me. And 
today we are finally, after months and months and months of you guys asking, we are doing a house tour. Do you even know what a house tour is? Obviously, she doesn't, you uncultured swine. So today I woke up, I went to Costco, and then I got a ton of drinks, I stocked the fridge, and I'm like, damn, that looks good. So we're gonna do a house tour today, just because my fridge looks good. If you can hear, there is an echo, very loud. Go. Because we don't have furniture. Start off over here in the corner and the door. Oh, the door is so cool. Did you guys check this out? So my friend came over and she told me that Chris Jenner has this same door. <laughs> don't you guys dare go outside. Let me show them how the door works without you going outside. Okay, so look how the door opens up. It is huge, ginormous. I've always wanted like a huge grand door. Like my old door was literally half of this. It's a pivot door. And it's got a really, really huge handle. You know, like a refrigerator, but on a door. Okay, so these right here, I just bought these and I want to show it to you. Doesn't it look like a luscious, well taken care of plant? Well, it's not. It's an artificial sphere. So I had real plants over here and Ash was always just like jumping on them and biting them and eating them. Like I'll show you what she did to my other plants. So this plant over here, this bottom piece used to look like this piece, you know, green and luscious, but just a mini version. And look what Ash did. She ate every single leaf on this hecking plant. And occasionally she'll go and play with the mud or dirt. From this to this, literally a nub. Should we go down the hallway or should we do my game room first? We're just gonna go to my room because it's right here. Come on in. So I got to- No, you open that door for me. No, okay. I want both open. No. Yes. See guys, the doors open both ways. Yes, and there are glass doors, which is absolutely horrible for audio quality. So, I had to put up a wall of audio foam. And oh, by the way, this is my setup where I record, <laughs> where all the magic happens. I finally got my llama son back after Digital stole it from me for a few months. And I got my oblivion here, I got my little shell. Like before it was just this, and I was like, okay, you know what, I wanna make it more like my old setup because a lot of you guys like my old setup better. This is like boring, it's just yellow audio foam that used to be white. You know. I bought white audio foam and look at this color now. Look at it, it is piss yellow. I haven't had time to like look for furniture and stuff. That's where you're gonna see like most of the houses. Pretty empty and my setup is basically the same except I have a white desk. I got my pretty razor mouse and my iMac gaming setup. Don't worry guys, there's a PlayStation under here. I have posters that I have to hang up. I got these from Anime Expo and I'm super hyped about them. They're Attack on Titan posters. So I just gotta find a place to like hang these up because they're super dope. So I got my controller, I had to get a new one because this one. I bought two of these because I really like the clear ones and both of them were defective So like the joystick just like moves on its own So I had to get another one and by the way when I record glass is very bad for echo So whenever I'm about to record or I want some privacy in my room I close the blinds. So all of the windows in this house have blinds where they are remote controlled And you can just shut them like this or when I don't want to talk to my dogs I do this and it just goes back up. I just recently got this big fluffy chair, which is not as comfortable comfortable as it looks. It's actually horrible for your back. And this is kind of like my setup for my second channel. I'm trying to like put stuff behind me and make it cuter. And I have a ton of storage to hide all of my secrets in. Secrets. There's TV. There's a bunch of behind the scenes junk. But I love this room. I love the glass doors. This is supposed to be like the office and there's a ton of storage which I need to throw all my junk in. Which I don't know why this junk literally isn't in the cabinet. Yeah. Don't look at it. No. Enough about my setup. Oh, another thing that's really cool about this house. Every room has its own thermostat. Like in my old house, we had two of them. Like one upstairs, one downstairs, but this you can control the temperature in every room. So I can keep my room 80 degrees. You yeah, because anything below 80 is freezing cold it for is. girls apparently. It is. It's really cold. So this little room over here is my bathroom. Oh my God, I matched the roses. Ooh, I just bought these today. So the countertop lights up. I don't remember what material this is. Okay, so this is a design fail in this house. So the toilet paper holder is down here. So when Whenever you go to the bathroom, it's like, I guess it's not that bad right now because the toilet seat is raised, but it's really awkward to like get toilet paper while you're sitting here, so. There's a couple things in this house that they did wrong and then they realized, oh, wait, we shouldn't have done that. That's one of them. All right, so this is a double door bathroom, so it leads to my office, but also leads to the hallway. They call these a powder room. It's not a bathroom, it's a powder room. This over here 
is another hallway. Look at all the doors. Beyond these doors lie hidden secrets. That's the secret for you guys. Smash like if you want to know what's in here. One of them might be a closet, but there are secrets beyond these doors. Over here we have, a, what are these called? A gallery. You're supposed to put your art or like a mirror or something. The walls are carved out, but we don't have anything. And over here is the garage. I don't want to show it like that because it's all the boxes behind you. No, we're going to show it. <laughs> we're gonna show your shame. Yep. This is like our other house where it's just a lot of boxes, moving boxes and stuff delivered. Man, Amazon, why you got to have all this unnecessary packaging garage basic AF white house white cars <laughs> white everything because my soul is so black we love contrast I really love Mercedes I love white cars I, I do like black cars too but they get like really messed up in the Sun here it's really hot and I am sweating in this damn garage but yeah this is the new baby that I waited almost a year for and this is my old baby this is the best car in the world I don't care what none of y'all Tesla owners say back into the hallway and here is the great room slash rest of the house. I mean, we could just show you Mr. Sausage's room real quick. My awesome setup. So this is Evan's room. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. There you go. All he does is play Destiny. His bathroom is really cool. He has his own bathroom, so he doesn't have to leave his room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does there to show here? It's just a bathroom. My bathroom. It's wow. the sausage's bathroom. Do you have bathroom. any idea how bad this smells? Like the seat goes down. A few minutes down. ago. Yeah, she came in when I was pooping. Back over here, which most of you guys have seen, I guess, the rest of the house. I'm gonna show it to you again in case you have it. So over here, come on down. This is the TV room. And this is my favorite mirror. So I wanted this mirror for the longest time. I love this mirror. And then we finally got it and it doesn't really go with the house. We also wanted a nice couch, but Z Gallery oh didn't let that happen God. either. Z Gallery did me so dirty. I waited six months for this couch. And look at it. This piece does not match these two pieces. And they still haven't resolved my damn issue. So please, if you are watching this, I I want a new couch and I want it now because this is like unusable. Like you can barely even sit on this. Like this is horrible. But. So what happened is all three of these pieces are supposed to be the same size, the, the big metal one. one, but they sent these two the wrong size. All right, so this is the rest of the house, the great room. This is the comfy couch, the couch that's not messed up. This is one of the comfiest couches in the world. It's basically made of what your bed is made of. So it's like a giant bed. I need a hand. Oof. So when the sun's setting, it's kind of in our face, so we like close the blinds, but now we can open them and it's really cool. Just watching it go up. So this is my little corner where I keep everything that doesn't have a permanent home. And it's just basically like things I get in the mail, bills, more bills, and a lot of cleaners because I like to keep this house like as clean as I possibly can. So I'm like always cleaning. But yeah, this is the kitchen, my favorite part of the house. And we have a super stupid long island. This island is ginormous and it's great because I can like, I cook on it. You guys have seen my like cooking videos here. On my second channel, I've been doing a lot of cooking videos here. You can check out those videos. But yeah, it's got a sink. I know, crazy, right? I've never had an island with a sink. Blows my mind. Over here, we have, oh, this is the best part, the fridge. I didn't organize the fridge, so it's kind of messy. But I've been cooking almost every meal, so the fridge is kind of crazy. And here is our drink fridge. Now, as a YouTuber, this is mandatory in a house tour. And I bought a lot today, and then I was like, okay, you know what? The fridge looks pretty dope. Who had a LaCroix? Why did you mess this up? I'm a boy who likes LaCroix. Leave me alcohol. No, I'm, it's I'm a Croy not boy. aesthetic anymore. No, I'm a Croy boy. You have to fix it. That's too bad, I'm a Croy boy. We do love our sparkling water here, so. Oh, look, a coconut. Oh, and I have a coconut because I drink the nuts straight from the coconut. <laughs> I bought enough drinks today to fill this fridge and I was just like, okay, you know what? While the fridge is like this, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this house tour. Oh wait, we're not done yet. I have to keep holding Ash because she keeps barking at her reflection. So over here is the freezer. We have mostly dessert in here. Yeah. We do love our ice cream. Almost all the ice cream in here besides the mochi is vegan because they do like gluten-free cookie flavors. So it's like, I do really love vegan ice cream. We also love shrimp though. We love shrimp. Can't wait to have my mini pies later. I have corn dogs. Everything in this house is gluten free and then over here we have i just went to costco got some burgers shout out to costco burgers the best burgers out there all four of these are freezers varying in temperatures it's a little extra this is our bread and then this one i don't think there's anything in this one nope and over here we have my cooktop this is my first time with a gas grill and i am obsessed with it i love 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 it it cooks food so much better i've always had an electric grill i feel like this is so not important but this is so important to me and how do you think this opens so you just you press it and then it opens up like that. And then to close it, you just like put it back. Wow. There are no handles in this house on any of the cabinets. You just like. 
magic. So over here is the secret door. This is my pantry. So you just like touch it and then come on in. This is where I keep the doggy food and my rice. And this is really messy right now, so I'll like ignore it kind of. Here's the dining table. I peeked inside the little crack of the fence to our neighbor's house and they had this dining table and chairs. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this dining table and chairs. Love it. It's like a gray wood. And these are linen, which actually get very dirty very fast, which is not good for me because we are very messy people. So this is my favorite part of the house. Come on in. Welcome to Leah's tea bar. So this is my little space where all the tea making happens. I have a bunch of plants here. I planted everything. So I have like all these little cactuses to remind me of Arizona. And look at this one. This one's my favorite. So this is a very gentle cactus. It's actually like very like rubbery. I don't know exactly what it's called. This one is very deadly. You absolutely cannot touch him. He will bite hard. And over here we have mostly fake plants from Ikea, but I can't really water these, so I just like put fake plants up here. Over here, everybody that comes over loves this. This is an ice maker. So it just keeps constantly making ice. It's got like 20 pounds of ice in it. You trying to have a drink, you always have ice. So over here, I have my juicer. I have my snow cone maker, which is my favorite thing ever, and it's so easy to use. And I have a coffee maker. Well, it's actually in a espresso maker. And over here, I have like all my tea and coffee and everything I need to make everything. They make a snow cone real quick. I love snow cones. Look how easy it is to like make a snow cone. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am. We've got a snow cone in three, two, one. Over here, it's supposed to be like a wine cooler, but like I use it to cool my syrups for my snow cones. Oh, so for the outlets, you don't have like regular switches. So it says what you want to light up and everything you can control it from your phone. But like if you want to light up the bar, you want to light up the great room, you light up the kitchen. And it's lit. Over here is the doggy play place. This is the little home room. This is where they do the doggy things. So we had this cutout where you're supposed to put a statue, vase. I don't know what we decided to put Thanos' gauntlet because it fits perfectly. Look at this. This is the base. It was meant to be here. It's inevitable. This is the room my friends like to go in when they think my house is too hot because I leave it at 80 degrees. It's cold. It's like a human fridge. Over here is the bedroom. This is the bed. We finally got a nightstand. Haven't had a nightstand in years. That actually has drawers. I really love this wall. This is like right in front of the bed. Can't find the controller for the fireplace right now, but this is like a real fireplace. No. It's actually electric, but it makes heat. It has like fake fire and you can make the fire change color. And there's a TV right above here. And I love, I love this wall so much. It's so pretty. Here is the bathroom. I love this bathroom. It's so large. This bathroom is literally like the size of our bedroom in our old house, but we have his and her toilets. So a toilet over here and a toilet over here. But we just ended up fighting over toilets, so we just share one toilet now. See? And nobody uses this one. Why do we use the same toilet? Why don't I use this one? But what's also nice is that we have his and hers towel rack. So I am not drying my face with the same towel that he uses to dry his butt cheeks. This is like where I get ready, my makeup set up and everything. I have all my makeup here and here's the mirror, which is very large, but there's no like full length mirror here. Oh, the shower. This is exciting because this isn't just a regular shower. This is a steam shower. So if you don't know what a steam shower is, there's a button on the wall over here. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna wait a hot sec and this whole entire room is gonna fill up with hot steam. So it's like this whole room turns into a sauna and you have like a spot where you can like sit and relax while you sweat. In a minute or two, this whole room is gonna be filled with steam. And really fast, I'm gonna show you the closet because I'm actually gonna do this on my second channel where I do a closet tour. So if you guys wanna see the closet, make sure you check out my second channel. Over here is the bathtub. I haven't taken a bath in this bathtub, but I brush my hair over it so all my hair like goes in the drain. If a strand of hair gets on this bathroom, like on the floor or anything, look, you can see it. You can literally see it right there. Look, there's one right there. Yeah. It's annoying. What is this? So as you can see, it's starting to steam up right now, but it gets like, when it steams up, you won't be able to see in it at all. And when you're inside it, it'll just look like you're in the clouds. This is too humid for me. Sorry, but no bath water will be sold here. Whoa, this is what it looks like from the bedroom. And the sky is just insanely beautiful during sunset. Like, I don't think you guys realize, like it's not capturing it, but it looks so so cool. So one of the buttons in the house is a welcome button and it turns on all the lights at night. Wow, it is lit. So these are all sliding doors. They're not just windows and they all just open out. 
and you can just like slide them. Oh my god, the sky looks so cool. So here is the spa, and it's an infinity pool. It looks cooler from here because you can't see the edge. My foot itches. So the pool is nice. It's heated which you actually have to heat it even though it's like over 100 degrees during the day. And Ash likes to drink out of the hot tub. Hey! So it gets really cold at night. Even though it's like over 100 degrees every day, the pool doesn't actually heat up, so I have to like heat it. In my other house, the water was so nice around this time of year because it was so hot and like the pool was smaller, so it would heat up faster. My brother's super lucky because he's renting it out right now and he gets to like have the perfect water. I honestly like that pool better. But I can actually swim laps in this one. Outside, the bar opens up so you can put seats right here and then like make drinks or whatever and your guests can enjoy them outside. See, it's open now and it like connects like inside to outside. Here is the BBQ, which I've been cooking a lot on lately. I found the cockroach in there yesterday and the last time I tried to cook in there. I set that mother on fire. So over here is my couch, the infamous Instagram couch where they messed up my cushions but they replaced the whole thing really fast, literally in like two days. Thank you, Living Spaces, for being cool. And over here is my favorite place to lounge in the house. This is my nest. I live here. After I get out of the pool, it's just really nice to nap here. So I really love this house. Like, I just love seeing the clouds and the sky. I always wanted a house on a mountain, and now I have one. Oh, what's up, guys? Today we are doing a house tour because I don't know a lot of you guys have been asking me for one I haven't changed much since the last time I did a house tour which was last year actually I think I changed a lot Somebody's driving very slow by my house. Okay, but anyways today We're gonna go through my house and I'm gonna show you all the new stuff I got since the last one which is just basically furniture and stuff I feel like you guys have seen my house and been here like all the time But anyways here is my favorite part of the house right now. It is the Christmas tree. And I wrapped some presents up yesterday and I got stockings and they're really fluffy. I saved these from last year. I got them for really cheap on sale last year and they were the last two left and I finally get to use them this year. And I wrapped up presents. This is for my brother and this is for my sister. Nothing for me yet, nothing for sausage. Because sausage has been bad anyway. I haven't separated my Christmas tree yet. You see how there's all these gaps in it? It's because these things are really pointy and sharp, and it's a fake Christmas tree, if you guys can't tell already. It's pretty big, almost such as the ceiling. I wanted to get the biggest one in the neighborhood, and then I drove around, and then everybody had one this tall. <laughs> so yeah, this is where I sit. This is where I used to do our school, fit all my logs and stuff. I used to just sit on this. I had this over there, where that couch is. This is basically the front room when you walk into the door. This is like the best lighting in the house, so I usually just record everything. And stuff I've gotten since last year that I did this. I got a mirror, I got a coffee table and stuff, I got a rug, I got vases, like these, this thing. Oh yeah, I got this on sale for $40. Because it has a vent in it. This is the couch that Sausage sits on when he records me, because he has to sit. <laughs> also, another thing that's new is this tree. It's made of pure gold. Just kidding, it's fake. This is a solid gold wood carving of a gold tree. And this is a lovely painting by the most famous painter in the world, by as a sniper wolf. Got these bamboo sticks. If you're wondering where I get most of the stuff from, a lot of it's from Z Gallery. Like I got this branch thing. These used to be on the table, but I put this branch thing and light. There's candles in it, so I light it. Next up is this closet where we stick everything that we don't know where to put. I have my tracer shoes in here for my cosplay. I have a ton of cosplay stuff in here, and it's basically shoes and stuff and junk. But at least I hung up the clothes, so they're hung up now. This is the kitchen. You guys have seen this. These are papers that you should, probably shouldn't see and coffee from last night or two days ago. Kitchen hasn't changed. Oh, fuck. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles. Say no more. I don't know how to get off. These things. Oh, they're fake plants. Coffee maker and toaster. I make my burritos in here. I got an evil eye that my mom gave me. She got me from Turkey. If you guys can't tell already, I have a lot of evil eyes around the house and my necklace is an evil eye. More evil eyes over here. Here's the pantry. Lots of food that's not really food. You know like the food that you like look at? You know when you're like hungry and you open this shit up and there's nothing to eat? The best part, the fridge. 
I have a lot of leftovers still from Thanksgiving that are pretty bad and they smell really bad right now. A lot of Mountain Dews left over from when I did the Diva thing. The leftover turkey that I should probably give the doggies. Oh look, whipped cream. I can't open it. Got it. That's what we eat in my house. Why is that not that good? This is my table where I sit. And these are the doggies where we look down upon them. Hi! I know, I know, I know. It's the same one as the gold one, but silver. Yeah. You want to go on the table? Do you want to die? This is the living room. Hey, what makes you think you can come up on this couch? Yeah, that's right. We like never use this TV. I haven't turned this TV on in like, it's been at least six months since I turned on this TV. I used to watch Netflix on it, but I guess I haven't really had time. There's another painting. This one did the painting. Oh, the Overwatch thing, that's new. All right, so I got this Overwatch poster from the Blizzard store and I framed it and I just wanted to put it somewhere. I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it on top of my TV because it's kind of empty. I feel like I should put stuff in here. Do you want to go in here? Go in there, Cass. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Uh-oh, where are you? Oh, it's, it's separated. Hi! I'm just checking on you. Do you like it in there? Next time you do pee pee in the house, you're going in here. Just kidding. Come on. <laughs> the best room of the house. Not really. It kind of sucks. This is my setup. Yay. It's kind of awful, terrible. Worst setup of any YouTuber. I'm not even kidding. This is the worst setup imaginable. Four million subscribers? What the fuck? I don't know. Leave me alone. I don't know. Not the prettiest setup, but it works. I feel like I'm so slouched. This is me sitting up regularly but I don't fit in the frame, so I got a baby tripod. Oh, and this is how I sit, and that's why my back hurts so bad all the time, because I have really bad posture. I feel like I've showed this before. This is just all the stuff that's behind me on my desk. I got Bastion's bird, Diva's headset. Look at this cat. Oh, this kitty's so cute. The dogs are going crazy right now, they've heard it. <laughs> this is my juggernaut fridge that still doesn't have anything in it. I got Widowmaker's gun right here. Did I break it? Cosplay coming soon. Million plaque right here. All the posters. Hi. Congratulations for surpassing 1 million subscribers. SS a snap -a -wall. If you guys are looking for Harambe, he's right here. In combat, utilize your cloak. It will temporarily make you invisible. Oh, my brother put up lights on here. This is outside. Nothing much has changed. Pool is the same. Stuff grew so you can't see the neighbors as much anymore, but you can hear their dogs. These flowers grew and I got a hammock. Did you guys pee on this? Living the life. Okay, this is kind of broken. This is my second time using this. The first one was when I tested it when I first put it together. Yeah! <laughs> he actually came up. Hi, I love you. Come on up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she actually came up. That whipped cream left a really bad taste in my mouth. It's so gross. Look, my orange tree has oranges now. Yay! Last time I did this video, it was weird because the tree was still young, but it had like one orange. And now it has a couple. And everybody was like, oh, you put that orange on. You put the oranges on your Christmas tree? I mean, your orange tree? <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. That was a real orange. Organic. Organic, bitches. What the fuck you want an orange for? It's mine. You guys like my oranges? No, 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 they're mine. I've washed these couches so many times, but if you guys can't see this, Kaz keeps peeing. How many times? He used to not pee on my seat, but my seat has pee on it now. Because I didn't play fetch with you yesterday. I'm not even kidding, that's why he does it. Like, if I won't play with him, he'll come up here and then pee. This is the bathroom. It's supposed to be my bathroom, but sausage uses his bathroom and always keeps the seat up and I have to put it down. 
never I put never the seat. put the seat down. That's not something I'm very proud of. Nobody uses the shower. I use it to wash my feet if I step in dog piss. This is the bathroom that in between games, I could come to this bathroom, pee wash my hands, go back in less than a minute. Like the time it takes to like queue up. This is the laundry room. It has a lot of laundry. This is the garage. This is my car. I had my other car in here and then it turns into a bunch of boxes. I don't know how to get off. These are the stairs. You go up them. Ow! This is the workout room, which isn't really a workout room. It's more of a storage room. I take this and I work out with it. Ah! Okay, I don't know what to do now. Oh! I'm gonna sleep. Good night. This is the guest bedroom. Okay, sausages room. Has all the stuff there. This is the room that nobody uses. It's supposed to be a studio room where we're like, oh, we're gonna put some stuff in here. That's my gun. This is supposed to be my cosplay room. I started on some cosplays. I worked on them. I never finished anything. It's gonna speak, by the way. And this is just the closet of junk again. There's a lot of junk and storage and stuff I don't know what to do with because I'm like a pack rat. I kind of don't throw anything away, especially boxes and everything. If something has a cute box or a nice box, like I'll leave it. I don't know. This is the guest bathroom where I give the doggies a bath. This is the doggy towel I use for Luna. I'm just gonna leave it on the floor. Just a reminder that this is the doggy towel and not the human towel. So this is the sausages room. What are you doing? Fishing. Sausage things? Fishing. Fishing. All he does is play Final Fantasy all day. Candle that he stole from me. This is the fence that leads to death, I'm pretty sure, or it would hurt really bad. This is my bed. Hi there. This is Winston. He is the keeper of my bed. I sleep with a monkey. This is the first time I made my bed. 99% of the time my bed is not made. You guys have seen my Instagram pictures and always complain and I was like, I'm gonna make my bed today just so these people don't come at me. Like, See, I kind of made my bed today, so be proud of me. This is the new thing that you guys haven't seen yet. We remodeled the closet. It used to be nothing, but it didn't have all these drawers and stuff in it. So I did like a custom closet and made it gray. And I'm gonna hide all my bras from you guys because they're out on the counter. Oh no, they're still there. But yeah, it's kind of messy right now because I have a lot of clothes. But this is this is actually not that messy. It's just it got a little messy today, like all these clothes because I I, I didn't also wear it and then I ended up looking like an idiot because again I have all these clothes and I still don't know how to make an outfit. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I got this little cubby from Ross and I put my socks in here. It's so cute. So this is my selfie mirror. The mirror that I take most of my selfies on and ooh. Look at this setup, look at this camera, I got this, I finally got a tripod. I've went so long without a tripod. Do I take all my small feet? Wow, I hate my hair today. Here we have my bathroom. We we're gonna redo the bathroom along with the cabinets and the countertops. Like we we're gonna rip out the floor, do the shower and the bath, but kind of never got to it. I mean, lazy as fuck, right? And this is where I do my makeup. There's all my makeup stuff right here. I basically just sit in front of this mirror and do my makeup. Hey, this is a good setup. I should probably do a makeup tutorial right here. See how much I weigh. I just ate, so it says 113. Here's the toilet, and again. Oh, mother I have poop spray, but he doesn't use it. Here's the bathtub. What's the toothbrush doing there? And some cream that makes everything big. I'm just kidding, a shampoo. Here's the shower. Here's the shower head. I'm starting to regret doing this video because it feels like you guys have seen everything already. I don't know, you guys wanted to see my house? I showed you my house. What more do you want?